Welcome to this video demonstrating at-home passive physical therapy exercises for dogs following spinal surgery. These exercises are only meant for use after the underlying cause of the spinal injury has been treated. The goal of these exercises is to stimulate the nerves in the joints and feet and stretch out the muscles of the limbs to prevent contraction. Remember to go slow with your dog and have someone there to help. Try to do these exercises in short 10 to 15 minute sessions two to three times a day. These exercises should only be done if your dog tolerates them and does not seem uncomfortable. If you have any concerns about specific exercises, do not force them and please speak to your veterinarian. Start with your dog lying on his or her side in a relaxed setting. Start by gently petting the feet and giving them a gentle massage of the muscles of the legs. Next, we start the passive range of motion exercises. Gently flex and extend each joint 10 to 15 times, putting it through a normal range of motion. Start with the toes, then the ankle or hock joint, then the knee or stifle joint, and finally the hip joint. At the hip joint, in addition to moving the legs forward and backward, move it away from the body to stretch out the inner thigh muscles. Once complete, you can do the same on the other leg. Do not force the joint beyond what it can move on its own. Dogs with joint issues may show discomfort. If you feel your pet is painful, stop the exercises and talk to your veterinarian. Next, with your pet on its side, practice bicycling exercises where you move the leg through a normal range of motion that mimics them taking steps as if they were walking. Do this 10 to 15 times in a slow and controlled manner. Once complete, let them rest on that side for a minute. While they are resting, you can press the flat of your palm against the pad of their foot and gently apply pressure. This encourages them to push back against your palm. Repeat on the other side. Similarly, if your pet has problems in the forelimbs, you can do passive range of motion exercises in the forelimbs as well. Start with the toes, then the wrist or carpus joint. then the elbow joint, and lastly the shoulder joint. Remember to do short bouts of slow controlled exercises multiple times a day. Start small and slowly build up the exercises as much as your pet tolerates. Speak to your veterinarian if you have any questions or concerns. 